I'm about halfway through the book, I can't recall the author at this moment, but uh, it's called White Picket Fences. She says that we'll make it to the game, but we won't often make it to the table. Wow. And we don't have that family connection and that time around. Wow. Um, and when we do have time at home, it's oftentimes uh, with a lot of screen time. You don't get oranges from an apple tree. Uh, yeah, so we have created, <laughs> we've created our own problems. So every criticism we have towards young people, uh, there's really three, three, four fingers pointing back at ourselves. Right. Uh, and so it's time for us to stop complaining and start getting to know young people. It's for sure. Come alongside them, being able to admit weakness uh, and, and uh, inability even, and just struggle is, is kind of the key uh, to any 12-step program, to any recovery yeah. program is, wow, this is harder than I thought, and I can't do it on my own. And that component of, I need, I need a, uh, for me, the, the God of Scripture and the church uh, body around that to, to kind of come along and, and lift up where sure. I do not. Yeah. In the context of what we're doing today and, and looking at the plans in place for Hope Harbor, um, in my experience working with youth and children in both a church setting and a rural setting and a city setting, a uh, nonprofit setting, uh, a lot of those programs and all those programs really had a great intention. They really had a great heart and a goal, um, but they weren't able to, to meet the need truly. Um, to have a 45-day inpatient treatment um, in some ways was just like sprinting through a problem that was marathon long. That's true. Um, and so you did what you could, but a lot of times you would, you would take uh, children from, from horrible situations, have them for 45 days, and then send them back into that same situation. Um, and so the, the advantage or the, the excitement that I feel about Hope Harbor really comes from the fact that it is a year long, typically. Um, it's, it's pretty, uh, it puts a lot of expectation on parents and families, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, which I think is a missed component uh, for a lot of programs because there's a lot of separation there and there's a lot of teaching for parents and kids and then opportunities for them to practice the skills that they learn. Uh, and it's a long program. It's that, that 12 months is what it takes to build relationships, uh, to really get to the heart of issues, uh, to really get to the core of things and begin to see healing and change. Uh, I think the programs that I've been a part of have tried their best but have struggled uh, because they didn't have the time, uh, the relationship, the parent aspect, and truly the, the Christian uh, view of all things and scripture-based um, grace and love, forgiveness, uh, and then a call to grow in, in holiness. Um, so I'm excited for the fact uh, that this program is a little different uh, in, in a good way, that it, that it really seems to be um, long-term relational-based life skills, and I think that we are lacking in that in so many ways. Thank you.